Yes. Yeah. Good evening, all. So myself, I'm Vijay. Like I hold 20 plus years of experience, which includes nearly 10 plus years of experience in Python environment. So my experience includes design, development, and implementation of Python and Django-based applications, well-versed in implementing different Python libraries like NumPy, CP, Pandas, PyTables, Matplotlib, CP, right? So before I start, can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not? Yes. Yes. Fine, thank you. <clears throat> so as part of today's demo, I'll be covering the following topics. So at the end of the session, I'll be giving you time for your general queries. And also at the end of the session, I'll be briefing you about this course details. <clears throat> Why Python? Already we have got many other programming languages. Why again Python, right? And uh, that too, Python is not a kind of technology that is very recently introduced. It was introduced in the year 1989. Why all of a sudden Python has got a great boom? Reasons which makes it sudden su suddenly super popular. And uh, who can learn Python? There is no prerequisites for learning Python. Anyone can update with Python. Since Python statements look like normal English statements, they are not as complex as other programmings. So just I'll be briefing you by taking some example tasks, by right, implementing the task in multiple programming languages. You can check compared with the Python, right? Lengthwise, complexity-wise, right? Programming-wise, you can check how simple the Python statements <clears throat> as compared with other programming. How Python was built and how Python was derived by taking the features from different other programming languages. Python was built or derived by taking the features from different other programming languages. It has taken some features from one programming, some other features or advantages from other programming. In this way, from multiple programming languages, it has taken the features. That's the reason we call Python as a hybrid language. Python real-time applications. What kind of applications are we developing today by using Python? So whenever you update with any technology, right, you need to understand what kind of applications are we developing by using it. Okay. Who are using Python today? The companies using Python, like top most applications build using Python, Python features and Python comparison with other programming and reasons why it is super popular and the Python job market and the Python scope, right? the job, current job market of Python and scope of Python in the coming years, right? <clears throat> so this is what I'll be briefing you in today's and tomorrow's session, right? This All this I'll be discussing in today's and tomorrow's session. So starting with why Python. So starting with why Python, right? I define Python in five lines. It is a general purpose programming. Python is a general purpose programming. So before Python, there were some programming languages, like if you heard about this, like Pascal, Fortran, Cobol, right? These programming languages are purpose-based languages. They has, these are used for specific purposes, not for all the purposes, for Pascal, for complicated mathematical applications, Fortran for scientific applications, and Cobol for business applications. <clears throat> these are used for a particular purpose purpose based languages but a language which is suitable for developing any kind of application such a programming language we call it as general purpose programming language so python is such a kind of programming where any kind of application we can develop today by using python that's the reason we call it as general purpose programming so today Python is the mostly used, <clears throat> mostly chosen programming language for implementing different uh, domains of different high-end technologies, right? So Python used for different applications, creations like normal web applications, automation applications, animations, gaming applications, networking applications, desktop applications, scientific applications, and also in implementing different high-end technologies like uh, data science with Python, Big data with Python, like Spark with Python, we call like PySpark and uh, IoT, writing automation scripts using uh, in uh, within IoT robotics, 
and the web development using Python, right? Python, multi-programming features. Python has got multi-programming features. I'll be briefing you about this, right? What are the programming features Python has got one by one in brief? It has got, it has taken some features from one programming, some other features from other programming. So in this way, from multiple, from near to four to five programming languages, it has taken the features from. That's the reason we call it as hybrid language. Python is a high level language. There are two types of languages. Yes, two types of languages. Low level languages and high level languages. Low level languages. Secondly, like high level languages. Low level languages like assembly level language or machine level language, right? Yes. Assembly level language or machine level language, these languages, right? Mainly they are not a human understandable. Not a human understandable. They are not human understandable. And secondly, they are not portable. And not human understandable. They cannot be carried from one system to other. Machine dependent. They cannot run on all the hardware and all the operating system. Machine dependent. Okay, fine. But uh, Python is a high level language. Python is a high level language. It's easily understandable. Looks like normal English statements. Not as complex as other programmings. Supportable, carried the code can be carried and machine independent, so human understandable, portable, and machine independent can run on all the hardware and all the operating system. Yes, interpreted language interpreted language here also we see two categories of languages all right check this we have got compilation languages and interpretation languages compilation and interpretation compilation example like c language Interpretation like C++ and Java. Sorry. Python. So C or C++, this even Java comes as compilation only. Python is an interpretation. Java is both compiled and interpreted, right? So compilation C language, C++ are the compilation Python, right? Difference between this compilation interpretation, right? Yes, if you've got some lines of code, if you've got some lines of code. So in the case of, in the case of compilation, all the statements executes at once and displays if any errors are there. But in the case of Python, interpretation, the name itself saying interprets line by line, statement by statement, it executes statement by statement, it is going to execute, which makes debugging easy. User-friendly programming or programmer-friendly programming language, which provides simple syntaxes, right? Which looks like the normal English statements. So Python is a general purpose programming. Any kind of applications we can develop, multiple programming features it has got. It's a high-level language, easily understandable, it's portable and machine independent interpretation line by line execution because what is the advantage of line by line execution means for each and every statement it gives the response output so we have got python interactive mode is available where state for every statement it gives the output of the response you can't see that kind of interaction with other programming user friendly programming or programmer friendly programming right coming back to this multiple programming features 
Okay, just have that. <clears throat> Python has got what features? Multi programming features, right? So Python has. Uh, so I'll be using some technical words here. Not a worry. I'll be briefing you about all these things in the our regular sessions. Right? Python has a procedural oriented procedural oriented programming oriented programming features. It has got procedural oriented programming features. Example like this. language it has got object oriented programming features python has got object oriented programming features it has got object oriented programming right c++ java and it has got uh, scripting features. Python has got scripting features. Scripting features like shell script. It has got modular programming features. like model authoring. Yes, procedural oriented programming like C language, object oriented programming like C++ Java, scripting features like cell script, modular programming features like model authoring. So because just like these programming languages, right, because of this multiple programming languages features, we call Python as a hybrid language, just like C language, like C++, Java, like Modula 3, we can develop different varieties of applications. So if you talk the two major programming languages used today for enterprise applications creations, Python and Java, but the Java developers or programmers are strictly restricted to use only object-oriented programming features without object-oriented programming you cannot write a Java program or an application. But in Python, with object oriented, without object oriented, with procedural oriented, with modular programming, we can write different varieties of applications. Even Python is one of the best scripting language with vast varieties of libraries, I say. And because of this modular programming, right? like thousands of modules python is providing thousands of inbuilt modules 89300 inbuilt modules python is providing for different environments okay so modules because of this modules only python has got great boom today because widely used mostly used right it is providing modules for different environments like uh, so if i talk about these modules for data science for data science separate modules python is providing right separate modules python is providing like 10 to 15 modules like NumPy, CP, Pandas, Matplotlib, CP in this way, right? Even for big data environment, it has got modules. For big data environments also, separate modules Python is providing, right? And even for networking, for networking, right? Not only separate modules, a separate framework itself, it is providing like twisted Python, even for testing or for test cases. And even for operating system kinds of activities, right? The name of the model itself is OS. 
So we don't need to write coding it's directly in built functions are available using which we can perform these operations. For each and every database, Python is providing a module for Oracle like CX underscore Oracle. It's a model given by Python for connecting with the Oracle, right? Python to connect with Oracle. Not only for Oracle, for any database like MySQL, it's providing like by MySQL, right? By MySQL, right? It is a mo model given by Python to connect with MySQL or for SQL server. For each and every database, Python is providing module, right? And for each and every file format for working with Excel files, I want to create Excel workbook by writing Python code, right? I can uh, read data from this. I can write data into this. Not only this Excel files, CSV files, JSON files. For, each, for all these tracks, separate models are available. The name of the model itself is CSV. The name of the model itself is JSON model. Even for XML, for PDF, just by writing Python code, and if you execute the Python code, a PDF file gets generated for mathematical operations and for statistical operations and for generating graphs. It's very simple generating graphs in Python. Just by writing two, three lines of code, I can generate the graphs in Python. In tomorrow's session, just I'll be briefing you some examples, right? How simple, without zero knowledge, right? How simple you can easily understand, right? Writing, uh, generating graphs in Python. Graphs, any types of graphs, normal graphs, bar graphs, histograms, scatter plots, stack plots, right? Inbuilt functions available for creating those, right? In this phase, just I showed you some examples, but thousands of modules, 89,300 inbuilt modules, right? For different environments, right? Yes. So what kind of applications are we developing today by using Python? So before you operate with any technology, you need to clearly understand what kind of applications are we developing. Python real-time applications, right? So just I'll be briefing you one by one. Python real-time applications, right? <clears throat> mostly used in creation of <clears throat> web applications today. Python mostly used in creation of web applications. A lot of web applications are getting developed. You may ask from the last 20, 25 years, right? Java, .NET are mostly used for creation of web applications. Why again Python now, right? Python has got a framework like Django, right? It's a framework given by Python for de developing applications, right? So at a rapid speed, you can develop a web application with very less coding, not even one fourth coding as compared with other programming languages so it has got its own database like sqlite is its own database it has got its own application server that's providing many flexible features when more than half of the code is generated by it yes we need to make the changes accordingly now not only for this web applications for automation applications for automation applications, right? The, today, the talk of the industry, data science, right? Data science. Or if you talk about uh, for IoT, Internet of Things, or DevOps environment, right? For DevOps. Uh, so for example, IoT, the physical network or device embedded with software, sensors, electronics, uh, for collecting data, for exchanging data, and controlling the things from the place where we are, right? So a simple way, electronic devices connecting and communicating with each other, right? So we are using Python script here. And even for data science, if data has got experience, data has got future reference, using data or data science, we perform data analysis, data predictions, data classifications, data clustering, data recommendations. It's a blend of technique. Yes. The main technique, what we see here, right? ML. ML. Machine learning, right? Machine learning, we have got many techniques uh, 
or regression techniques, classification, clustering, recommendations, pattern matching, right? For all the techniques to implement, you require a language first. Means to code with or to implement, right? So Python is the mostly chosen or mostly used programming for this machine learning, deep learning, this data science, right? So in this way, for automation applications like that, here Java is never preferred for this data science environments, machine learning or deep learning, right? And not only that, for even one more major area like big data environment, big data. <clears throat> but not only like KBs or MBs or GBs of data, or even TVs, right? You should have seen. But beyond that, like petabytes of data, petabytes of data is getting generated. One. So for storing that huge data and processing that huge data, we have got some processing technologies available. Like if you heard about like Hadoop, Spark, especially Spark is a very high speed processing technology, which processes huge data at quick time, right? So for this uh, Spark, uh, implemented using python we call it like pi spark spark with python implementation pi spark apart from this python is used for scientific applications scientific applications right for scientific applications we have got the cp there's a model called CP, yes, CP, right? And even for numerical analysis, numerical analysis, you have got NumPy, Python has got NumPy, right? Yes. And apart from this, for, for graphical user, graphical user interface, for graphical user interface or for animations, for GUI or for animations. So just it has got like models like a TK inter PyQt are some models, right? PyQt. And uh, for game development, especially for developing games in Python, right? Python is providing, right? Separate frameworks for single user, multi user online games, right? Python is providing separate frameworks like Pygame. It's a framework given by Python for developing games in Python. Even some more, one more framework like PyCara, right? It's a framework given by Python for developing games. And for 3D games, for 3D rendering libraries like PySoy. Right. Apart from this, for uh, scheduling tasks, uh, for scheduling tasks, Python is providing Airflow. And uh, for testing or for test cases, and for software development, uh, even for software development, right? For business application, Python is one of the best choice in developing e-commerce websites. And, uh, one of the hottest applications of Python, like the database applications. Without database, there is no web application, right? Python can connect with any database. <clears throat> and for web scrapping, <clears throat> scrapping data from different websites, right? We use models like URL lib model, BS4 model available. And for networking, right? Separate framework like Twisted Python, right? That is provided by Python for this networking environment, right? And apart from this, for embedded applications, the most famous embedded application like Raspberry Pi, which uses Python for its computation, even for CAD or 3D CAD applications, right? And for audio video applications, as part of the course, I'll be showing you some audio and video kind of applications in full stack, Python full stack, but audio and video applications and for computer vision right for color detection face detection and object detection right and for data analysis 
and for uh, robotics. And for desktop applications, single user console applications, right? So this Python. In this way, many of many we have got, but these are the mostly used. So Python is mostly used for creation of these kind of applications, like mostly used in web applications, automation applications, big data, in game development, in business applications, in web scrapping, in care applications, data analysis, in desktop applications creations, right? Yes, just I'll take. Who are using Python today? Top most applications built using Python. Top most applications, right, built using <clears throat> Python. Google, one of the best example for Python web application. Google web crawling is first written in Java. It was too difficult. It was written in Python. Yahoo using Python. YouTube using Python. YouTube using Python for its video sharing service. Instagram using Python. The prime reason for Instagram to choose for Python, Python practicality and its hybrid features. Even NASA using Python for its research and development activities. And uh, Uber, Uber pricing algorithm implemented using Python and ML. Some other applications like Quora, if you heard about Quora, Reddit, Pinterest. Dropbox, Netflix, the popular OTT platform like Netflix using Python <clears throat> for security automation subscription related things, right? MMOG, massively multiplayer online games. Maya, a powerful 3D animation which uses Python script. BitTorrent using Python. For hardware testing purpose, right? Companies like IBM, Seagate, Qualcomm, they use Python for hardware testing purpose and for iRobot, for military and commercial applications, right? Yes. So in this way, Python is mostly used in different applications, right? Okay. From the discussions, what we had till now, reasons which makes Python, reasons which makes uh, Python, Suddenly super popular. Suddenly super popular. <clears throat> First thing, the programmers or developers are attracted towards Python because of its very less coding. Not even one-fourth coding as compared with other programming right? 200 lines of Java code means like, like 100 lines of Java code. You can write like within 15 to 20 lines in Python. 50, 20 lines of Py Java code, I can write within 4 to 5 lines in Python. In the tomorrow session, I'll just show you some examples related to it. And simple syntaxes, the two simple syntaxes given by Python, which looks like normal English statements. They are not as complex. So you can easily understand. And uh, interactive mode, interactive mode given by Python. Check it. You can just like how you interact with your friend with some messages. The same way I can interact with Python. So just check it at the bottom search panel. I will type a CMD and go to this command prompt. And just I'll type Python here if it is already installed. So Python 3.12.6 is the latest version of Python. Can you see these three arrow symbols where you can type any valid statements of Python? and I can interact with it. It gives response for every statement. I'm asking it what is five plus three. It gives response. 
I'm asking what is 12 into 6? What x equal to 10? No need to define data types also. y equal to 4. What is x? What is y? What is x plus y? x minus y? x into y? x by y? x into 2? <clears throat> x into 2? x to the power of 2? 10 square 100 x equal to any valid python statements you can type x into 3 prints all for 3 times x into 5 prints all for 5 times in this way any valid statements you can type and interact no need of any other data types simple <clears throat> multi programming features multi programming features what all the features we see what all the features we see right in other programming languages all the features we see in python like procedural oriented features object oriented features modeler programming features scripting as part of our course i am going to discuss like the procedural oriented with python object oriented with python scripting and a modeler programming with python and the wide varieties of applications just now i discussed right wide varieties of applications and many built-in libraries many built-in modules many built-in modules right 89300 right in built modules python is providing for different environments right so very less coding simple syntaxes interactive mode multi programming features wide varieties of applications so these are the reasons which makes python suddenly super popular so python is the number one ranked programming language today diversified number of applications creations just in the just open google and check popular coding language just say popular coding language right check it once so what it is saying popular programming language includes python easy to read with many open source libraries for data science it has many active community for the users i don't know just check the other results right the most popular programming languages python stands first next comes java and the other things most popular programming languages most popular programming languages right yes python stands first mostly okay so <clears throat> Check it. Most popular programming languages, Python stands first. Next to JavaScript, Java, and then other things, right? Yes. Most demand, most in demand programming language of 2022, Python, Java, JavaScript. Not only in 2022, 2020, 21, 23, 24. In 2021, see the ranking. Python number one rank, Java number two, JavaScript. Which programming language should you learn here? Python, JavaScript. Rankings, you see, number one ranked. Python is the number one ranked. Next comes Java, JavaScript, right? Ranking based on, right? Just observe this. Top 10 programming languages. Top 10 programming languages for the beginners to learn, right? Python. Next comes Java. Emerging programming languages by popularity. First Python, next Java and JavaScript. Yes. Python remains the most popular. Check it. 
in the usage wise if you see the graph uh, python a very very big circle you can see right python 31 percent used in the industry java 19 percent python 31 percent big circle right c plus plus 9.8 c 6.1 percent right this way if you want to check right even uh, based on ranking based on average salary ranking based on job openings right ranking by average salary python stands first next javascript ranking by volumes of job openings python and sql stands right not only like even uh, if you see just check this python jobs right once you check python jobs just click here python jobs <clears throat> lacks of jobs for python so you can see senior python junior python jobs <clears throat> python jobs 1 lakh 74 673 python openings right for different environments 1 lakh 74 thousand 673 python openings not only for python python framework if you have got knowledge on the python framework right yes like uh, Django jobs, you can say, right? Django is a framework of Python. Like you can see thousands, like 13,000 plus Django developer jobs. So in this way, right? So as part of the course, what I'm going to discuss, uh, just check this from the basic level to the advanced level, ground level to the advanced level, right? Python. <clears throat> Why Python history applications features advantages for installation flavors, Python operations, modes of execution, batch mode, Python data types, constants, variables, comments, input output statements, comments in Python, escape sequences, operators, working with different IDEs, integrated development environment. In real time, we use these IDEs like PyCharm, Jupyter, Spider, Eclipse. So Anaconda distribution, right? Anaconda prompt and Anaconda navigator, right? Flow control statements, looping statements, strings, string indexing, string slicing, string functions, string methods, string special characters, collections in Python, like lists, tuples, sets, dictionaries, list, list operations, list properties, list indexing, list slicing, list functions, list methods, nested lists, tuples, Similarly, like sets and dictionaries in Python. So functions, defining them, calling different properties, different categories of functions, arguments type, default, non-default, keyword, non-keyword, arbitrary type. Different types of functions like lambda functions, filter function, map function, reduce function, zip function, right? Modules in Python, modular programming, different ways of importing, renaming, reloading, right? Packages in Python, collection of modules, errors and exceptions, different types of errors, exceptions, how to handle file handling, right? Working with different file formats, reading and writing data, object-oriented programming concepts in brief, class object inheritance, polymorphism, inheritance, types of inheritance, overriding, right? Destructor, constructor, regular expressions. How to extract data from the given data, right? So we have got uh, many regular expression patterns database connectivity python connecting with any database installation of that database this module and working with sql operations transaction management python daytime module os module advanced concepts like iterator generator closures decorators web scrapping working with csv files working with xml files working with json files right yes debugging and GUI programming, graphic programming, Excel workbook, data analytics, introduction to data science, and Python, Pandas model, important libraries of Python, like Pandas module in brief, NumPy model in brief, and Matplotlib model in brief. So these three things, right? Yes, so these are the three important libraries. If you see in other training sites, this won't be covered. Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib. For example, just to check jobs on jobs on 
പാണ്ടാസ് നമ്പൈ ആൻഡ് മാറ്റ പ്ലോട്ട് ലിബ് ചെക്കിറ്റ് തേർട്ടി ത്രീ തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് തൗൺ ജോബ്സ് റൈറ്റ് ഓൺ നമ്പൈ പോണ്ടാസ് മാറ്റ പ്ലോട്ട് ലിബ് ജോബ് വാക്കൻസീസ് right those are the important libraries right then if you have got knowledge is this <laughs> okay fine apart from this these are the 30 topics i am going to discuss as part of python core in advance apart from that people who wants to go for python full stack python full stack right so for the framework framework of python django framework so project creation steps web frameworks the django installation the project architecture application creations the django views templates <clears throat> the django admin the django models advanced concepts like orm class based views rendering them so in this way different and, and uh, what are the prerequisites for that also will be discussed like ui technologies that also will be discussed like html in brief css in brief javascript also will be discussed as for this and mysql database right so and also for this batch i'll be discussing one more uh, framework uh, i'm going to discuss freely one more uh, framework flask framework just 2 minutes for example python core in advance right nearly like nearly 70 hours i am going to spend it's not like 45 hours course like 70 hours 6000 is the course fee. around two and of months it takes we'll be discussing in brief about python core and python advanced apart from this uh, people who wants to go for full stack like uh, <clears throat> ui technologies first it will be discussed before we go with that it's web development ui technologies right which covers like html in brief css cascading style sheets javascript will be discussed yes apart from that uh, django framework it's a important framework of python nearly like 15 to 20 applications development you are going to do in this right and apart from this uh, flask framework uh, one more framework i am going to discuss that right? flask framework and uh, project and my sequel so ui technologies django framework flask framework right my sequel right okay so from topics uh, Two to six, right? So actually, UI technologies is separate course. It is Django, Flask, these things, right? From two to six, this also takes nearly seventy hours, right? Seventy hours. Python plus frameworks. so 70 hours for this python for frameworks also 70 hours so 6000 is the course fee for this and for the frameworks like a uh, django flask framework and this ui technologies project all this is like a 7k 13k but if you are taking the entire package 
So just if a single payment is 12k, right? So apart from this, uh, and let me make it clear about the timings of this batch. Let me make it clear about the timings of it. For the first one week, uh, it will be at, it starts at uh, 10 p.m. Later after one week, uh, it will going to start at 9 p.m. 9 to 10. It's going to be at from 9 to 10. And uh, what are the things you are going to get, right? Yes. You are going to get uh, live session recordings. Recordings video, right? Soft copy of soft cop clear soft copy of the class notes. And uh, as it's a programming language, right? Assignments and tasks to work with. So based on this assignments and tasks, you are going to get uh, the command on this, and a WhatsApp group will be created for the technical discussions. If you got any errors, you can take the snap of it and post in that. Anybody can answer, I'll be answering, right? Uh, 300 plus code examples. Twenty plus applications creations. Yes, and interview questions. I also deal with uh, not only this. I also do deal with the data engineering course, right? So there is one more package for these people if you are interested, right? Just one minute. Right? There is one more package like big data package available where you will be getting a Hadoop, big data Hadoop. PySpark, Spark with Python, right? Linux. For like Python, this, this Python four plus advanced, right? Whatever we discuss for an advanced, this two months course will also be included in that. It's in this uh, big data package, this Python, Four plus advanced is involved. So this will be from Monday to Friday. Which one Python? You can attend any of the batch. This current running batch, whichever you are attending, or this Hadoop, PySpark, and Linux. It's a weekend batch only on Saturdays and Sundays. It goes for uh, twelve weekends. It goes for twelve weekends, Saturday and Sunday. We only on Saturday and Sunday evenings. Saturday and Sunday, Saturday, Saturday two hours, Sunday two hours, right? So it's a 12 weekend space. This Saturday, there is a demo for it. You can check it, fine. So the course fee for it is 15K, right? So some query, now, okay, I hope you have understood all this. So tomorrow also everyone can attend the session. It's not a duplication or replication to this today's. To today is session one. Tomorrow will be session two. Session three, session four, it continues. But first three, four sessions will be given, right? If people can attend. But thereafter, the link is going to be changed. Yes, certifications for. So if you want from the Durgasaf, you'll be getting a certificate. Or even if you want to go to your cert, like other certifications, right? Any AI, no, no, no. AI related packages, no, here. Any job assistant. See, durgajobs.com, there is a separate portal is there where you can check with that, right? A lot of the job postings will be done there where you can check with that. 
ఫైవ్ డేస్ సార్ సిక్స్ డేస్ మీన్స్ ఎస్ సార్ విత్ ఈస్ రైట్ మోస్ట్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫైవ్ డేస్ ఫ్రమ్ మండే టు ఫ్రైడే సమ్టైమ్స్ ఆన్ సాటర్డేస్ ఐ బి ఫ్రీ ఇంటి మీటింగ్ విఫ్ ఐ టేక్ రైట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ సో యూ కెన్ సెక్ ఇన్ ద చార్ట్ రైట్ ఎ బిగ్ మెసేజ్ గివెన్ బై దిస్ ఆన్లైన్ టీమ్ అబౌట్ దిస్ కాంటాక్ట్ డీటెయిల్స్ ద కోర్స్ కాంటెంట్ ద పేమెంట్ డీటెయిల్స్ అదర్ థింగ్స్ రైట్ యా సర్టిఫికేషన్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ సో డస్ పైథాన్ కోర్ అండ్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ప్రీ రిక్వెస్ట్ సైట్ ఆర్ బేసిక్ ఫర్ ఎనీ డేటా సైన్స్ ఆర్ బిగ్ డేటా రైట్ ఎనీథింగ్ రిలేటెడ్ విత్ డేటా ఎనీథింగ్ రిలేటెడ్ విత్ డేటా రైట్ ఎదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డేటా సైన్స్ ఆర్ డేటా ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఆర్ డేటా అనలిస్ట్ రైట్ దిస్ పైథాన్ ఈస్ ద ప్రీ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఈవెన్ ఫర్ ఓకే ఈవెన్ బిగ్ డేటా యాజ్ వెల్ Yeah, big data, data like, or web development. Like I, I was saying that big data here, Spark, total, it's a very high speed processing technology. Today it is uh, mostly Python is preferred. Spark with Python implementation like PySpark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even with uh, Azure Databricks uh, with PySpark. Mm-hmm. so, so both, let's uh, say if i learn if i work for web development using python right mm. later point of time if i want to move to data science with python mm. with the web development knowledge can i work on data science with python or do i need to learn the data science with python separately see one second the data science the prerequisite for data science is everything total coding goes in python total coding goes in python right total implementation in python in data science because python for data science python modules are there like numpy modules pandas module matplotlib cp scikit-learn tensor so in this way many python is providing many modules for data science and development so those modules are the prerequisite for that right and total coding goes in python for data science and development even people who go for okay, respect to the module yes even like a data mm-hmm. engineering side also data like even if you are writing a, a data bricks coding right like pyspark coding right python is required even for data analyst python is required like with different high end technologies right python even writing a automation script even in devops environment right or aws environment we have got a boto3 module available right for that aws environment even for devops writing automation script using python right so for all this not only like iot and robotics like the automation scripts so in this way different directly or indirectly you are going to touch python if you are going to the science technology stuff because python because of this python hybrid features so python is mostly preferred to direct right? that's why i was showing you lot of jobs for python today so whenever you learn mm-hmm. python you can go with a different other technologies implementations right Okay. I also okay, just learning uh, the core advanced mm, yes go ahead uh, for yeah, just learning the uh, one second uh, for the, in the python full stack uh, pyspark will cover any scripting some more some classes so pyspark see pyspark you need to learn separately you need to have full command on this pyspark to become a data engineer right not like uh, the part of it or basics or overview is not sufficient so that's what here there is a package separately for that hadoop pyspark linux and python people who wants both uh, so this is 15000 is for this big data package just add 5000 to it you will get both the pa- big data and python packages both you will be getting 20 for 20k right because which covers all these frameworks python python frameworks ui technologies this flask framework everything along with this uh, big data right fine so here in this uh, hadoop pyspark linux and python core and advanced will be discussed here frameworks are not included for that only frameworks also if you want just it is less fine in the full stack not even just uh, introduction also not even touch in the pyspark right for the scripting learnings 
we are talking about pi spark yes pi spark is okay. a is a data engineering tool right it's a big data yes. tool like that, where we will be dealing with huge data processing yes 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 so, so not touch the full stack yeah. In the full stack, uh, in full stack, nobody, none of, nobody will cover PySpark in any of that uh, full stack also, right? Okay. It's, it comes under its data engineering, which comes in big data environment, right? PySpark. So, what is the duration of for this uh, big data engineering? Three months. Three months. Okay. So class timings will be changed or else in the night only night 9 p.m. something like that. Early morning classes will be there for any. No, no. PySpark, right? Mostly like in the evenings it will be. Not PySpark, Python, Core and Advance. Core and Advance, uh, 9 p.m., right? So the current timing, whatever I said. First week it goes at 10 p.m. Later it will be at 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Right? If anyone unable to attend in the evenings, even morning, uh, early morning, not like uh, at uh, can check with the online team right at uh, there's a batch starting on this thursday at eight o'clock morning eight o'clock morning eight o'clock but uh, first one week it will be at eight o'clock later it will be at seven a.m starts at seven o'clock in the morning okay okay fine right so everything in brief in depth that's why i was saying it's not like as you can see the course content the in brief in depth about a lot of modules i'm going to discuss like some models related to data science, some some models related to uh, like uh, big data, some models related to operating system, some models related to databases, and some related to graphics, some related to regular expressions, some related to data and time, and how to create our own models, right? As part of Python for an advanced, right? And the important models libraries of Python, LymPy, numerical Python, Pandas, and the Matplotlib in brief, right? Yes. Sir, NumPy, uh, Matplotlib, Seaborn, those libraries were enough to attend data analytic roles. You want to go for, uh, okay, see, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib are the main modules, right? Mm -hmm. You want to you want to go for data science and environment, again, you need to go with uh, ML algorithms are required. I'm asking for data analytics roles. Hmm. Um, those are enough to yeah. get into. Yes, yes, enough. That's all enough. Okay. So, in data engineer, is there any advanced uh, like uh, uh, will cover in that data engineer part for the libraries? So, what library you are expecting? Like uh, whatever the PySpark itself. Part? PySpark itself is a library given by Python. Yeah, NumPy, Matplotlib, other than those things for the data science using, uh, many are there, right? So, for those in the data engineer, we'll cover those also, or else only particular will cover. So, whatever I showed you, right? Uh, you were talking yeah. about this big data or Python? Big data, big data. Big data, totally, we do it with PySpark, right? Lot of data, like concepts like uh, data frames, data frames functionality, a lot of things will be discussed there. Spark SQL, Spark uh, Streaming, Spark uh, ML, this will be discussed there. Okay, even libraries also more will discuss. No, libraries, lot of libraries are there in the PySpark already, like Python given libraries, PySpark. This, even if PySpark is a library of Python. Yeah. Python API to use Spark. What do you mean by PySpark? Python API to use a Spark. So I said Python API, right? Yeah. Okay. I also, apart from this, I also deal with uh, cloud technologies also, right? Okay, like Azure Data Engineering, Azure Data Bricks, Azure Data Factory, and Azure Synapse, right? Yeah. Okay, any other queries, right? You can check with the, uh, for this, uh, if you want advanced ADE, Azure Data Engineering, right? With Azure Data Bricks, Azure Data Factory, and Azure Synapse, right? So for those batches also, I'll deal right. That's great. Data engineering. So. so yes, any other queries tomorrow, day after tomorrow also, people can attend to see more discussion on this. How the sessions will go. In brief, uh, people from this ground level to the advanced level, everyone can understand it. 
there is no prerequisites i said anybody can update doesn't mean that you need to have the knowledge of c or java nothing right okay any api like the rest api something like that Next API I'll be discussing. Thanks. Django RESTful Framework practice. Tomorrow morning, the 8 o'clock batch will be there. From Thursday. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Fine. Okay. Any other queries, right? Anyone? Clear notes for soft copy of the notes. So if I'm done with this, right? I'll sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, same time at 10 p.m. using the same link. More discussion, right? Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Good night.